Okay, so this is Jeff bars three and four. I am going to do it in stages, so it's gradually, so you'll hopefully build it up. Okay, now at the start of bar three and four, okay, you need to use your crash and bass drum. Okay, your crash is represented by the diamond shape in your music, and you're playing this rhythm. Okay, after that, you have a rest, and then you need to go to turn one and turn number, f and, and sorry, and the snare drum. So let me play the start of bar three. <laughs> Slip ups happen to us all, but that's the start of your bar three, and I've played that a few times for you. Now, what you need to do after your last snare drum, you need to move your hands across to the other side of your kit, okay, to use turn two and turn one. So you need turn two to be played twice, turn one is played number one, okay. Useful tip for this particular fill, if you keep your right hand at the top, okay, and then have your left hand on the on the lower drums then it'll actually make things a little bit easier so i'm going to play bar three for you from what how you start it with that extra drums there <laughs> You then have to move the hand across to hit your snare and turn one once. So that's what you're going to add in at the end of bar three. So this is bar three in full. crash and bass drum again okay so i'm going to play bar three and bar four and um, both of them together <laughs> You have exactly the same for bars five and six. So what you've just heard me do, you need to do it twice, okay? But at bar six, after your two crashes, you need a small fill in there. I personally would stick with just using three snares at the end. So that's a nice transition when you go into your main groove. So now what I will do is I will play bars three, four, five and six and then go into the main groove, okay? sense to you i will write out descriptions if it's easier okay as well so i'll do that at some point <laughs> 